friend I hope everything goes well my regular from staying with all my love and energy I would like to meet you as soon as possible I send you my bionic heart te quiero mucho ponte bien pronto he's a walking miracle remember the bionic man and the bionic woman we have separation. Inboard now, board they're on. Steve Austin is an astronaut and uh, he has an accident and um, he goes, uh, I can hold it, Oscar, I'm breaking up. Flight calm, I can't hold it, she's breaking up, she's breaking And then <laughs> the rocket thing goes along this runway and explodes and then switch to operating theater with little square plastic compartment of leg open with electronic wires and tweezers and things going in gentlemen we can rebuild him we have the technology that was the famous one we have the technology we can make him faster cut to lee in tracksuit running on treadmill and um <laughs> <laughs> it becomes the bionic man. And basically he just never gets a day's peace from that moment on. From that day forward, he is eternally grateful to Oscar Goldman. And he has to just constantly go on missions. You know Oscar, he's always finding something for me to do. It was just a huge, huge hit, straight away. We were on Friday night, and then um, on Monday, my daughters were in school. And in the afternoon, I got a call from one of them. Dad, everybody's running around in slow motion. I said, really? I didn't say anything to her, but I thought, well, I might be around for a while. People forget that only, well, how many years has it been? 25? <laughs> 25 years ago, when we were filming this show, that um, the technology in the film business was so nominal. Today, my kids laugh at it. This is Oscar Goldman. I want this building sealed immediately. At the time, we were, we were in what was called the Cold War. 
and uh, we couldn't send troops in like you did when you go to war. So this was an opportunity to just send one person in on a job to either bring out someone to get information. Uh, it really was CIA stuff. You're a government agent? That's right. The only way to avoid an international incident is for me to get back what's inside that embassy museum. Lee was a limited actor, and he knew that. What do you mean? Acted like he was constipated all the time, you know? I mean, he'd sort of talk like that. Uh, Kenny, how you doing? You know, it was like there was some gas pains going on there. I guess you're right. Well, he's a ladies' man, you know, and uh, I thought that was attractive at a young age. Um, do you get up to Aspen very often? I try to get up as often as possible. Yeah, he was good-looking at the time, and his clothes seemed really excellent at the time, and he just, he seemed quite relaxed and cool. Let me tell you about candle without him. He's one of a kind. Now he's the man. Now he's the man. The idea came up that we should have a love interest for him. Hey, sweetheart. They designed a character that had gone to school with Steve Austin, high school sweethearts, I guess. Oh, boy, I'm so glad to see you. Marry me? I thought you'd never ask that. Jamie! I asked you up here to help me. And you, you have the power to put her back together again, just like you did me. She rejected the bionics and died. Oh, dear God. When I had written the script, I had originally conceived of leaving Jamie in some sort of cryogenic deep freeze because I thought, well, you know, you might want to resurrect her. And uh, uh, Frank Price, who was running Universal at the time, said, no, Ken, we want to do a love story. A love story is very big. We, want her, we don't want a lot of bionic people running around. And you kill her off. We want her dead. OK. So they got rid of her. Sweet Jamie, I love you forever. The public reaction to uh, Jamie Summers dying was astronomical. I mean, it shocked us all. It just went through the roof. They were trying to bring this thing back. But they kept saying, what about her? She's dead. Well, maybe we should bring her back. Uh, who killed her off anyway? Why'd you do that, Kenny? <laughs> you know, so bring her back to life. Oh, sure, okay. To Steve Austin and the world, Jamie was dead. But was she? Cryogenics brought her back to life. I, th I thought she was a cracking piece of stuff when I was about 12, like, you know. And uh, she was all bionic as well, so she'd probably be up to the job as well. <laughs> Can you just rephrase that? Sorry about that. <laughs> human being. She can think for herself. Since when is thinking for herself an asset in a woman? A secret message for Jamie Summers. I'll get the code book from her bionic mission purse. It's the bionic woman Jamie Summers with her new bionic mission purse. I never thought I'd become a doll. red boiler suit, I remember, and uh, the bionic eye, which is, of course, brilliant. And then the roll-up arm, of course, he had the skin, which rolled back horribly like a condom or something. He's a walking miracle. I wonder what Lee Majors is doing now. Well... Lee Majors, six million dollar man. Mary Cunningham, one point eight million dollar lotto winner. I bet you don't have your own action figure. No, 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 no,
And now, here's a woman who has danced her way from across the pond right into our hearts from Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome the graceful, the beautiful Heather Mills. Um, thanks for having me here. I've been a huge fan of Ameri American TV shows ever since I was a very little girl and meeting all those stars of that era has been very mind-blowing actually. It really, really is a thrill for me. Um, I'm here to present the Fan Favourite Award for the most inventive equipment ever seen on television gadgets. So cool that they've become as beloved as the classic shows on which they appear. Now, this category is called Greatest Gear of Admirable Apparatus. Admirable Apparatus. Oh, that's my category. Nominees are from Gilligan's Island, the professor's countless things made of bamboo. <laughs> from MacGyver, his trusty Swiss army knife and duct tape. Oh, come on. as the bionic woman and the winner is from one bionic woman to another the tv land award goes to lindsay wagner i find it a little hard to uh find the words to describe uh, the feelings of having so much admiration being shown for uh, my apparatus. <laughs> I mean, huh? You know? We really did have a lot of fun making The Bionic Woman. And I'm not sure what it is exactly or what quality that I had that the producers saw in me that made them say, yeah, that's my Bionic Woman. I, honestly, I don't know. 